it's Monica and I'm back with a new video. If you're new here, subscribe and make videos on health, wellness, acne, confidence, and so much more. And I make videos every single week. And in this video, it's like going to be a continuation on my series on coaching myself through an existential life crisis. Yay! <laughs> Um, so if you have not seen the first couple videos of this, this is my third video regarding this subject and coaching program, and I will have them linked in the description, but if, uh, you have been following along, then just enjoy this video, and even if you haven't, enjoy this video, <laughs> and yeah, give it a thumbs up. That was a Whitney Simmons-inspired little thing. Okay, anyways. So, um, continuation. So I'm just going to share like how I'm feeling, what's been going on for me, what my goals are, and what my question of the week is going to be because that's how the outline of this program goes. So just to recap from last time, my question to consider was, can I be in a constant state of happiness or can happiness be my baseline or my new normal? And can I choose to be happy no matter what my circumstances are? So here's what I found. Um, yes. It, oh my gosh, it's not so crazy. Yes. Yes, you can choose to be happy no matter like what my circumstances were. And I mean, don't get me wrong, like I'm an emotional person. <laughs> so I definitely still cried this past week even while I was doing my happiness journey but you know what it was so cool I don't know it's hard to explain but what I found is yes I can easily choose to be happy and at the same time sometimes this is going to sound this is going to sound awful but it's so real and it's something I feel like we all experience um sometimes other emotions can be of benefit <laughs> Because, oh man, this is going to sound awful, but because they help us to get things that we want. They help us to get our needs met in other ways. For instance, um, I'm, and I actually didn't do this one, so this, this is my for instance, but sometimes we cry, guys and girls, cry <laughs> to get what we want. Like, it's, it's just the flat-out truth. Or sometimes we show anger to get what we want because we're like, maybe if I show that I'm upset, then the situation will change. Then the other person in the situation will change their minds. Then, I don't know, my workplace will change their minds. Then, I don't know, I can get someone else to behave or do what I want. It's just the flat-out truth. Um... I honestly could riff on that topic in and of itself. But basically, that's what I found. And you know what? I think I will riff on that topic um, in a separate video just to make this video a little bit clearer. But it does work. You can choose to be, I at least can choose to be happy all of the time. And something that is really cool that came out of it is the thought process of... Um, in each, each moment that I wasn't feeling automatically happy, I was like, okay, breathe, take a step back, go internal. What can you do right now to be happy or what would make you happiest in this situation? Would crying about it really make you happy or would moving on from this situation make you happy? And sometimes it was like, or would going on a hike make you happy? Or would staying at home make you happy? Like, which one would you want? And it was so cool. And I feel like we can easily build a life based on, like, choosing things, directions that will make us happier, you know? It's kind of like, you know those, like, question, question quizzes where it's like, do you like the beach or the ocean? Then it goes off in two different lanes. And then it's like, if you like the beach, do you like the sand or the water? And it goes off in two different lanes. It's kind of like that, but like a happiness map. I think I just invented something. Ah, happiness map. Okay. Anyways, that is 
Monica, make a note of that. Mental note, happiness map. Got it. Good. Okay. Anyways, it was really cool. It was a really cool realization. So the next thing we will discuss discuss <laughs> discuss are my grounding goals. So I'm gonna go through them all and also tell you if I'm going to keep it as a grounding goal or not. So drinking three fourths a gallon of water each day. I actually did it this week and it felt so good to be back in my nourishing my body with water state, my hydrated state. I just feel so much better. I feel like I look healthier. I feel like my skin is happier. I also, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> I also went to the gym this week and the lady at the front desk like wouldn't believe that I was 18 and then she saw like my actual age and she was like you look awfully young to be that age and I was like thank you <laughs> like she meant it as like a, I don't believe you like but I was just like well I am so thank you <laughs> and you know what I think water has to do a lot with that so Thanks for that. Um, definitely keeping it on this week. I feel like I'm keeping it on the rest of my life. So, exercising every day. I'm not gonna lie, this has been hard. I did it every single day, but sometimes again, it was like late at night and I was like, oh, didn't get it in. Here's my 10 crunches and my 50 sit ups and my squats and wall sits, and there it is. But it's like, I could be doing so much more, you know, and I actually really love going to the gym and I actually really love going on like evening morning runs and so <sighs> that's just my new thing is like I love it so why wouldn't I do it, you know, so that's staying on but like I'm, I'm practicing to make this better and to do it in the mornings whenever possible. Because that just makes me feel better, too. Get it done. Get it out of the way. It's not in my head the whole day, like, oh, you need to work out. Don't forget to work out. So, at least that's how my brain works. Um, journaling before bed each night that I'm home. I did that. It's the best thing ever, as I say a million times. Focus on eating more fruits, vegetables, and protein. Again, like, I do it, but I feel like I could do better, you know? So... Keeping it on. Yeah. Posting on IG daily. <laughs> no. Um, well, I missed a few days. TBH. A couple days? Yeah. Um, because I didn't push myself. And I gotta push myself. I need to push myself. It's not for me, at least. Like, I can't just, like, be like, oh, I'll do it when I'm inspired and it'll be a better pose. Like, just freaking push them out, you know, just like get that baby out. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so there's that. And I will keep it on and I'm push that baby out. That's my mentality about it. Okay. So posting two videos a week. I feel like I did more than that again. I don't know. I just like really like it and I don't have a schedule for my YouTube channel. And I know so many people are like, subscribe I post Mondays and Wednesdays and it's like so clear you know it's like that's awesome like I can expect a video from them Mondays and Wednesdays but that's not how I watch YouTube like I don't like sit on someone's account and be like oh it's Wednesday time for I don't know blah 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 to post like I just watch videos as they pop up on my feed but maybe that's that's not a smart business tactic to employ so you know, it is what it is, but I am increasing it to three videos a week because I just feel like I'm inspired, I love it, and that's just what I want to do, so, yeah, and then cop, oh, oh, okay, and then, so that was all my goals from last week, I am adding a new goal, um, which is to copy all the copy <laughs> on my website, so my coding, my words, my images, so that I have it all filed away. Um, for when I'm ready to create my new website because, I mean, you can go to my website now. It's, the link is in the description always, but I just don't, it's too dark for me. It's not, I coded it myself, which took 
days and I don't really love it and I feel like there's an easier platform to use. I'm thinking Squarespace so I'm going to delete that website eventually and then start all over. But I want my, you know, my copy and images and blah blah blah. So yeah, that's my goal to do this week. Okay, and then a question to consider this week is this is so good. Oh, it's so good. Can we meet all of our needs on our own or do we actually need other people in order to get all of our needs met? Um, this came about from my last week's question on can I be happy all the time because I realize, you know, sometimes in order to get my needs met, I need to go into an unhappy state or I feel like I do. Like, I, I don't, but like, I feel it's just like a ki little kid mindset, you know, where you throw a temper tantrum in hopes that your parents give you what you're wanting. But as an adult, it's like you, you like cry or get angry or like, I don't know, get pulled back in order to be like, here's my, this is my need that I need to be met. So I'm wondering if I can just meet all of my own needs all on my own, like, all the love can come from within, all the financial whatever can come from myself, which that one's really hard for me, like even like thinking about it now, I'm like, well, I can't make money on myself. One, I don't even have a money making machine. Two, I can't invent, I like don't want to invent a money making machine. Three, that would be counterfeit, so it wouldn't even work. And so like, don't you need society? And you know what? That's the question. We're getting into next week's discussion. But, you know, that is the question of the week. And that's it. That's it for this video. I hope it was, one, interesting to you. Two, I hope it was mind-opening to you. And three, I hope um, that you smiled <laughs> during it. Um, okay, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe you can also follow me on instagram for daily tips and inspiration and also just get more of my personality <laughs> and i would love it if you guys left a comment <laughs> if you guys left a comment below because that's like my favorite way to connect with you as long as it's respectful you know what i mean okay i love you enjoy your day